The Two of Swords can often be, it can often be a stalemate. Um, someone who's being very guarded with opening up, opening their heart, uh, revealing their hand, so to speak. So I'm getting the stonewall. Somebody's stonewalling. So Gemini, you could be doing this, trying to keep someone out. Um, or someone else could be doing this to you. Um, Dag is here indicating that like the, the way forward or the way kind of out of this, because it is kind of a, there's kind of a blocked energy here because somebody needs to either make a decision, take off the blinders and see a situation for what it really is. But in July, we do have Mercury retrograde. So there may be some reason that you or someone else is not seeing a situation clearly. It could be that information is still going to be coming. Dan is also about things not happening overnight. It's a process. So uh, yeah, there could be, if you're unsure why someone may be stonewalling you or, or blocking you or trying to block you in some way, that may be revealed later uh, as, as things progress. So yeah, if not at the end of July, uh, perhaps into August, but um, this could also just be blocking someone on social media who you find annoying or uh, selfish or loud or boisterous or, um, there's also an energy here of um, like not willing to put effort into something. So, I mean, this could be a coworker, <laughs> you know, it could be uh, somebody who doesn't do their work, uh, somebody that doesn't put work into a relationship, no matter the nature of the relationship and you're just fed up. So you're, you're blocking them. You're um, maybe you've discussed it and they're stubborn and you're stubborn about it and, and you can't meet in the middle. This could also be some sort of blockage when it comes to health. Like a, I'm seeing like a heart blockage or a vein blockage. Not necessarily for you, Gemini. I don't want to scare you, but it, I mean, it could be that something is blocked and that could be causing some health problems. Again, though, with DAG, it indicates that you'll be able to find out what this is. But yeah, it may be a process. You got to go here. You got to go see this doctor. Go see this specialist or this person that you're worried about. For some of you, it may be a male who's experiencing this, a male connected to you. Um, and you're, you know, you're like in wait and see mode, but you're trying to help them figure out what this is and, uh, you know, ultimately remove this blockage if it's a health situation. Um, but let's see what the challenge is going to be. It'll probably shed some more light on this here. The challenge in July, the tarot card we have is the two of pentacles in reverse. And here's what it looks like in the upright. So yeah, this can sometimes mean a severance of ties, particularly with money. So leaving a job, uh, leaving a business partnership, it could be leaving a marriage, uh, divorcing is particularly if it was mostly maybe a financial arrangement or if somebody just married for money, <laughs> or if you felt somebody was only interested in you because of your money, Gemini. But yeah, there's a, uh, there's an ending here. Um, but it is a challenge to end it. So, I mean, it could be, again, people are being stubborn, disagreeing over who gets what, disagreeing over what the truth is, disagreeing over, yeah, like assets and property and money and who's going to get what. Now, Gemini, again, because not every Gemini is going to be separating or getting divorced or anything like that. But this could be somebody close to you because it's a general reading and that energy is affecting you in that way. For some of you, it'll be you that's experiencing it, experiencing it. For others of you, it could be a child of yours or a sibling or a good friend or, you know, somebody that you care about. And because they're going through this, it, it's, uh, it's affecting you, particularly um, how you're feeling about the situation. Um, for others of you, your challenge could be deciding whether or not to reunite or let someone back in who you have separated from or divorced from. And it could have been particularly just not the best divorce. Um, others of you, though, this is a challenge to, uh, 
to leave a job situation. So you may be indecisive. I mean, this block could just be you kind of do, you are the twins, Gemini. So maybe one twin is saying we should leave and the other twin is saying, no, not yet. There, there's there's some indecision here and feeling about what, what should be done. And that's going to be uh, for some of you the challenge in July. It isn't the best month to start a new job, I will tell you, um, because of Mercury retrograde. But I mean, you can, life moves on. You We can't always just stop because of what the planets are doing. But if you can make your start date August or after uh, Mercury goes direct, um, it'll just be a, a smoother transition for the most part because, um, you know, Mercury wreaks havoc with can wreak, can wreak havoc with messages and emails and electronics and all of that stuff. And, and, and you could be finding that you're dealing, you know, on the new job and, you know, nothing's working right or, or uh, you know, and it could be just more frustrating than it needs to be if you could have pushed the start date. But if you can't, you can't. Just uh, just be extra vigilant. You'll probably want to read things over, uh, you know, a couple of times so that you get the instructions right or what have you. Um, now, I mean, there could be with this someone getting fired or forced out, like forced to leave a job. So again, not every Gemini is going to get fired or lose their job. You could be the one that needs to fire someone, Gemini, and that's your challenge is, you know, because again, not putting forth the effort, being very lazy. Some of you could be put in that position where you're firing someone, letting someone go, um, and trying to, you know, you're trying to figure out, some of you may just be trying to figure out a way to get rid of someone. <laughs> so yeah, it's like some of you may be like, you know, I really dread firing this person. I don't want to have to do it because it's, you know, it's not fun. And, and others of you, another group of you may be like, I really need to get rid of this person. <laughs> so how can I do it? Um, I need to catch them not doing their work or catch them breaking the rules or something. Cause it's like you have an intuitive sense that someone's up to something or that they're not doing their job correctly or not putting the effort in that they need to. And, uh, you're, it's like you're, you may be spending July trying to catch them in the act. Um, the help that's going to be available to you, you've got the Ace of Wands, Gemini. So that's a wonderful new opportunity, new beginning. So many of you that are looking for a job, you know, it, you know, and you can interview, you can look in July, absolutely. Um, but I do see an offer coming in. So for some of you, now that you now your challenge may be delaying the the signing of the contract <laughs> uh, until after Mercury goes direct. Again, don't feel like you have to do that. It's it's a good idea if you can, but you got to do what you got to do. You don't want to miss out on an opportunity because it looks like many of you are getting a fantastic new, uh, yeah, passionate, something you're passionate about, the work, it's or it's a position you've been passionate about, you've really wanted. Um, because yeah, your, your help is money coming in, an offer, uh, a, a new financial beginning. This could also be you winning the fight when it comes to who gets what in a separation, in a divorce. Um, you're also going to have the support of family and friends with this. So it, it could be that you're hearing about this. If it is a new job, you may be hearing about it through um, someone within your family. I mean, it could be if it's in, if it's within your same company, it could be a coworker that you're particularly a particularly close with that you're friends with as well. Uh, letting you know about this. Could also be treatment for uh, whatever this blockage is. So again, I want to reiterate any of you, if you're dealing with a health issue or if someone close to you is dealing with a health issue in July, it does seem like there's going to be like an action that can be taken. Um, and it is going to be like through recommendation to recommendation. There may be a friend or a family member that has dealt with a similar situation or had a relative deal with a similar situation who's going to recommend an excellent specialist to you. If it's not that, it could be a friend telling you about a job or maybe it's a place that they're working and they're letting you know that they've got an opening that you'd be perfect for. And this could be a company that you've really wanted to get into for a while. Or maybe like since this friend went there, uh, or this person who used to work where you work and they went to this other cool place, you've been staying in touch, hoping there'd be an opening and July could be the month. But yeah, there's an increase in money coming in July. You're either negotiating it or starting it, many of you. 
in July. Um, it could also be like this, this stubbornness, this not budging on what you want from a settlement, from a divorce or anything like that is going to pay off for you, Gemini. And you're going to, it's going to help you to get this money because then you can move forward with your plans. So particularly if this was a process or a case or a divorce or, or some kind of settlement that's been, you've been hashing it out for a while, if it's coming back around, anything coming back around from the past with Mercury, you know, that's okay to, to, to accept or move forward with. And if it's a job again, like maybe if it's, uh, something you heard about a while ago or a place you've been wanting to get into for a really long time. Um, that's different because anything from the past is well starred during a Mercury retrograde. So it's always, <laughs> you just got to kind of weigh it and, and look at everything here, Gemini. The what must be accepted position, you've got the three of cups in reverse. Yeah. thought it was coins for a second. But it's cups and that's what it looks like in the upright just so you can see the artwork. So yeah, there could be someone you have to see that you don't really want to see. This is a reunion or, or, or having to meet with somebody you don't want to meet with. So maybe it's the ex, maybe it's this person you got to fire. Um, maybe it's your boss. You got to tell them that you're leaving because you're going to this, <laughs> you're going to this other company. Um, but it's like, once you do this, once you have this meeting, you, you are freed up this wonderful, miraculous new beginning. It's an opening up like a flower, really. Canas. Um, there could also be someone from the past for some of you wanting to reunite. It could be a friend because Canas has a lot of associations with friendship. Um, if there was a falling out, like maybe this is somebody who wants to patch it up or maybe you're the one trying to patch it up, Gemini. Could be romantic, but also... Um, you know, a, a friendship. And it does seem like there could be, um, even if initially you're a little like, uh, I don't, I don't know if I trust this person. I don't know if I want to see them again or let open that door again. Um, it does seem like for many of you, you would be happy to see them again. And, uh, that there could be a very lovely rekindling here, the rekindling of a romantic relationship as well. Um, but yeah, at first you may be like uh, guarding your heart and being very uh, standoffish, which, you know, just until you see what their motives are or, you know, if they're different now, like if in the past it was, it was a difficult relationship, which it looks like it was. Um, and some of you, yeah, it could be somebody you were married to before or wanting to rekindle. So, um, but yeah, whatever it is, whatever this reunion is, even if initially it's not something you want to go back to, or it's not, could be a job that initially you're not, you're like, I don't know if I want to go back to that or a type of work that you've done before. Maybe this new opportunity would be like going back to work you used to do before, but this is going to lead to a wonderful new beginning. I think for many of you, you actually because this isn't done in the same way, or it's not the same company or, or whatever, you will enjoy the work more. So a lot of different messages coming through for that. But, um, so yeah, uh, if you have to meet with somebody you don't want to meet with again, once you get it over with, you're free. Once you do that, you're free and clear to move forward. Others of you, it could be, um, a reunion that turns out to be a positive thing. Um, and uh, yeah, a renewal of sorts. Mercury retrograde does tend to bring back people from our past as well. So it could be, um, you could find sometimes that you've got all, you know, <laughs> all these people coming back from the past and wanting to reconnect. And um, if you look at the calendar, lo and behold, it may be during your Mercury retrograde. Uh, your outcome is the Page of Pentacles. So again, uh, money, a new financial beginning news of an opportunity. Um, pages can be, yeah, just messages of you got the job or, um, you want to come in for the interview. Like you're getting the interview. Um, I was as indicating that it may, you know, if it starts or it started before it may take a little bit more time, just be patient. Uh, you can achieve your goal. This goal is protected. So whatever job or opportunity or um, 
settlement amount you have your eye on, your goal is attainable and uh, it's protected. Um, this could also have something to do with an earth sign person or an earth sign child could be involved in this. If it, maybe if, if it's a divorce and custody is part of what you're working out. So it could be a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo child involved in this. This is also the card of the student. So some of you could be uh, wanting to go back to school and, and that could be uh, what you're doing. Maybe this job or, or you're qualifying for tu tuition reimbursement or a loan to go back to school and study something. Um, and maybe you didn't think you were going to be able to do that. Some of you may be getting word that you got into a school that you really wanted to go to. Uh, I'm, I just heard wait list. If somebody was on a wait list for something, you may be hearing in July that you you've gotten in because someone else can't go or, or, um, yeah, a spot has opened up. So yeah. And this kind of changes everything because now this new path is open to you and it has to do with learning with career, uh, or with money. So it's actually a pretty good month here, Gemini for you. Um, whatever this blockage is or whatever this is, you're being guarded about. I think that's a smart thing to do. Um, it, because it does look like it's going to pay off for you mostly monetarily, 